hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and y'all we're getting into the part two video to the eden body works um lavender and aloe line so i will go ahead and link up above i did do a wash day video and now we're going to go ahead and get into the styling product so i am going to review the entire line with the exception of the lavender and aloe lavender and aloe hydrating refresher this is what it looks like the packaging is really nice it's very pretty um they all look the same way but i'm just not gonna use a refresher i usually refresh my hair after a couple days of styling so for this video we're gonna do something a bit different so since there are two leave-in type products they have the moisturizing leave-in so this is the leave-in and then they also have the hair and body butter which is 16 ounces and since I have both of these products, I figured we're going to do a split comparison. So half my head is going to be with the leave-in and then the other half is going to be with the hair and body butter. So we're just going to go ahead and try it out. They also sent the lavender and aloe growth oil as well as the styler, which is the smoothing gel. So that is what we're going to do today. Y'all know I'm an oil girl, so I'm very very grateful that they sent the oil as well thank you for the whole line eating body work shout out to y'all um so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it i did go ahead already like i said this is after my wash day so this is what my hair is looking like right after deep conditioning this is what my hair is looking like so yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and separate or um, section my hair real quick and we're going to get right on into it because I'm very excited to get into the rest of this wash day because I, we've had experiences. Alright y'all, so I went ahead and section my hair off and I think to go ahead and begin on this side of my head, I'm going to use the moisturizing leave-in. So it says use this conditioner to add moisture to hair before styling. It smooths the hair shaft, protects against breakage and excellent for all hair types. And then as for the directions, it says apply generously to freshly washed hair for best results. Do not rinse, can be used daily if needed. So um and then i'm gonna go ahead and with the growth oil it says it stimulates the hair root without oily buildup it strengthens hair reduces breakage perfect for hot oil treatments da -da 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 -da. it's an oil y'all so we know how to use that so um y'all i don't actually i end up talking to you guys i'm having a bit of breakage at like my edges so and i'm not sure why that is the, everything smells the same like this whole line is very consistent smell wise so i'm gonna go ahead and apply the oil to my scalp because y'all know i like that um that's what i do it's a super lightweight oil um but yeah y'all i've been having breakage up at my edges and um that's a no bueno for me it's been very concerning especially on this side like y'all can see just how like thin and scarce is getting up there and we don't like that so what i'm gonna do is is I, actually i didn't tell you guys what we're how we're styling today so i'm gonna do like a headband style in the front so since this is a smoothing gel i want to try to test that out as much as possible so i'm gonna create like a headband section in um twist the back of that so y'all see it'll be like slick in the front and then i'm gonna just twist the ends up so it'll blend with the rest of my hair and then i'm gonna do a twist out in the back so that i can leave the twist in for a couple days so um yeah y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and split my hair in half and let's apply the leave-in the oil it doesn't really feel like anything on my scalp to be honest um y'all know that i'm a minty type of girl but there's no there's no mint there's no tangle um i can definitely feel it on my scalp but like y'all know <laughs> like, i don't know what else to say about it let's get into the leave-in so it's pretty creamy i do have two other leave-ins from eden body works i have that one foam that they say is a leave-in that is a styler Oh, this is much lighter than I thought. Much, much lighter than I thought. It rubs down to, y'all see, it rubs down to almost nothing. Oh, that's so interesting. So, um, as for the leave-in, I don't know. It, it just feels like product on my hair. I haven't had the greatest experiences with Eden's leave-ins. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know. Maybe it's me. I don't know. Um, but it definitely is adding some definition. But as y'all can see, it is sitting on my hair a bit. But I'm I'm positive that that's gonna soak in. I just tend to apply a lot of product. Y'all know me. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and seal it in with a bit of the oil. This whole line smells really good. It's very lightweight. Yeah, but the oil, I don't know. It just feels like an oil to me. Like, I don't know if there, I don't think there's anything special so far. I can't feel anything crazy. Um, as for the moisture on here, again, don't feel anything crazy. But since I am using two different leave-ins, I'm going to let this sit for maybe like 10 minutes. Um before I apply the gel so I'm going to let it sit I'll section my hair for the headband situation and then we're just going to go ahead and do this little twist out because your girl's feeling lazy today so yeah y'all I am just going to go ahead and apply the rest of this leave-in and then I'll come back when we're applying the butter okay you guys so I am back and I applied the butter to this back section um this is what the butter looks like it's white so it's a little hard to see but it says it's a moisturizer designed to hydrate calm and soothe both hair and skin it softens hair and skin it prevents dryness excellent for all hair types and skin how to use um for hair smooth down your hair chef and style for skin massage and the skin reapply as needed so y'all i actually have the other um hair and body butter yeah. that was from the citrus line and i i don't like i don't you know what i don't think i like the idea of a two-in-one type of product they just feel like very different things and this to me feels like a lotion but not in the way of like a hair lotion type of thing like it just feels really thick it feels like it would be great on my skin but as for my hair i don't know like it just feels it feels too thick almost like it's not absorbing into my hair so with this leave-in this one it was very light um very creamy not the moisture was light but like the consistency was very light so this as y'all can see the product is sitting on top of my hair and i think with this it's necessary for me to put the plastic cap back on because if not i'm not sure that you know it will fully sink into my strands so for me right now i'm not sold on this as a leave-in as y'all can see it's weighing my hair down like nobody's business child she is going absolutely nowhere so i definitely will have to spray my hair down to um style but yeah so um it does feel moisturizing going on but i think for me and my preferences i think i'll just use this as a body butter which i'm not mad at because it's all right y'all so i'm back mm -hmm, i'm back and i gotta tell y'all i'm not super thrilled with my results so far um but hopefully it turns around i will say that so i went ahead section the pieces that i want to do for my little headband um, slick down situation in the front and then the back like I said it'll be twist and I actually am with a detangle because I had a good bit of shedding today so I have my little um I think it's called a wonder brush I don't know so this is the side with the leave-in after about I think it's been like 15 minutes so that's what this section looks like um My hair feels moisturized. It's felt more moisturized um, with other leave-ins. So, you know, um, I didn't use a whole lot because I only used half my head or only did it on half my head. So, still plenty left to go. And then this is the side with the hair and body butter. And this side feels so much heavier. Super, super heavy. Um, and as y'all can see, the product still hasn't sunk in all the way, which I hope isn't going to be an issue mixing with this gel. So, yeah, y'all, I think I can 100% confirm that this will be a body butter for me um, because I don't like the way I shouldn't have to wait all this time 
for it to soak into my hair um to put the cap on and everything is cool if i need to you know sometimes we have thicker leave-ins you know but this is i think this is just too thick for me so i'm not doing anything crazy today i'm literally just going to take sections and shall just do it so i do have my spray bottle filled with warm water so far with this lavender and olive i'm not super impressed so it says this is a styling gel designed to provide a lasting flake free hold it says that it's going to control frizz and boost shine it says apply to wet or dry oh it says apply to clean hair wet or dry reading to mia for waves curls and coils apply and scrunch to define for slink, sleek updos and edges apply along the hairline and smooth using hands or a soft bristle bristle brush okay so um all right sounds good to me so i'm gonna go in with about this much just a little fingertip full per twist um it's a very light weight gel i'm pretty sure this is like supposed to be a light hold like it's supposed to have hold but it's not gonna be anything crazy the second ingredient is glycerin and y'all know i have been having some issues with glycerin lately um but also just you know if you're not a glycerin person be aware that it does have glycerin so when i put it on my hair it almost feels like it dissolves into nothing um so i grabbed a bit more product and applied it because it it, it didn't feel like there was anything there so <laughs> I'm hoping for the best with this if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't um ciao i don't know i don't know it seems to be playing well with the leave-in though so grateful for that it's definitely more lightweight than eco styler gel but it's definitely heavier than a custard if that makes sense y'all i know y'all are probably like girl what but if you know you know so let's try this other side with the hair and body butter y'all i really wish y'all could feel the difference with my hair because this is so much heavier like oh my god it's so much heavier uh, maybe if your hair likes thicker no not even that because my hair tends to like thicker things y'all know one of my favorite leave-ins is super thick it's the shea moisture um curl stretch pudding i love that product and that product is thick um but this was just this butter just feels like something that would work great for my skin in the winter so and y'all know i am super into skincare so i hope that it will find its purpose there for me but i don't feel it i don't i don't i don't know and i wanted to try them in this way because it didn't say to use them together but it didn't really mention you know what to do with them what to use them for so maybe i'll try it again and layer them maybe i'll try to leave in and then this um butter but i don't know the butter just feels so heavy on my hair like y'all my hair is weighed down but yeah y'all i'm literally just gonna go ahead and keep twisting up my hair i'll probably twist one side and then go to the other so this is the side y'all look at the two different textures like i got one that's super curly and then one that is coily chow i be trying to tell y'all that i have a lot of different textures okay you guys so here is the slick headband situation that i wanted to do it's very shiny as you guys can see but this is the side with the um hair and body butter and the twist um they're definitely a lot longer as y'all can see <laughs> um and this is the side with the leave-in i don't know why this part right here is so much thinner like in density um but it is but you know whatever i'm gonna put my little scarf on and it's gonna be fine and these are the twist so it looks like both of them are having trouble sinking into my hair but this side obviously has more um disregard this one i just slicked this back and i had to wet my hair so yeah, you guys that's what the twists are looking like this side is definitely more moisturized with the butter um but i feel better with this side because it's sinking into my hair and um 
I don't know I just hope I don't get any flakes but yeah. hey Kiki crew so I am back and these are the final results so like I told you guys slick headband in the front my part is not in the middle but you know I'm a work in progress so this is the side with the leave-in conditioner Mm -hmm. And this is the side with the hair butter. Okay, y'all. So, um, I am not mad at my hair. It's not my favorite, um, look. Mm, it's just, okay. But let's go through, talk about each product, and I'll let you guys know sort of why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. So, on this side of my hair, I went in with the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. This is what it looks like. I use practically none of it because I only used it on half my head. Um, this leave-in conditioner was just okay. Um, I'm starting to see that that's a pattern with Eden Body Works for me. I have the coconut um, leave-in conditioner that I need to pull out again because Urban Fab Curls here on YouTube loves her, this the coconut leave-in so I'm gonna pull that out again just because she loves it and it's in my stash so I'm gonna give that another try but this one was just it was just okay like it wasn't a bad leave-in conditioner it just wasn't my favorite either um even after I let the leave-in sit under you know my plastic bag my hair it felt good but not like it wasn't anything super memorable so my hair feels moisturized right now um my hair feels moisturized but like it's nothing crazy so that's how i feel about that and then on this side i went in with the hair and body butter that's about how much of that i use um to me this feels like a body butter so i won't be using this on my hair this side of my hair definitely feels more moisturized for sure for sure for sure um so but I don't know. I just don't like the idea of me using a, a product for both my hair and my body on my hair. But my hair definitely feels more moisturized on this side. Like I can feel more moisture on this, the butter side, than for sure than the leave-in. And I think that my hair is just slightly more elongated on the butter side as well. But I think that's also because my hair was weighed down. So yeah, that's that. Um, I do like the way the collection smells though. So next I went in with the hair growth oil. That's what this looks like. I used a cute little amount. Um, it's just the oil to me. It's a nice lightweight oil. Is it something that I would repurchase? Probably not. There's not too many oil, brand, oil blends that I would repurchase. This one was just the oil to me. It was, you know, it was cute. And then finally I went in with the smoothing gel. That's what this one looks like. And I used about this much of the product. Um, so you guys know that I'm a gel type of girl. And this one is just a lightweight type of gel. So my hair doesn't have absolutely any crunch at all. But I will tell you guys my twists were so so juicy. Um, I didn't use any of the perm rods on the ends. You guys know I typically do. Um, but this twist out actually turned out pretty well. You guys know I'm not a twist out girl. I'm more of a braid out type of girl. Um, but I think my hair looks good. The smoothing gel... I've come to realize that Eden Body Works likes lightweight stylers. Like, that's just, it is what it is with that. Um, so I know not to expect anything with any crunch or anything. Um, I'm not 100% sure that this style is going to last, okay? Um, or how long it's going to last. I'm feeling Yeah, I think it's a, a, it's a cool line. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just starting to get to a point with Eden Body Works that I'm not super, super impressed. Like, I think that they're good products. I think that they're quality products. They're just not the best products for me and my hair. Um, and I keep getting these lines and getting these products and I'm not overly impressed. So out of this whole line, I, I like the co-wash the best. The co-wash is absolutely my favorite thing. I, I would go as far as to say I would repurchase the co-wash. That co-wash was really good. I do have the coconut co-wash. Um, from them up in my stash as well and that makes me want to pull that out I know it's a lot of people's favorites so I will be pulling that out soon but, so yeah you guys those are my final thoughts I don't think that this line was anything crazy it is celebrating their 17 years um, in business so congratulations to them I'm grateful that I got the line but other than that um, I'm glad that I have the products I'm of course going to keep experimenting with them y'all will see them in an empties video 
eventually whenever I finish them. But that's the end of this video, you guys. So I hope that you enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.